Hey guys, today marks the first game of the 2010 Winter Olympics for hockey. And as all the athletes know, preparation is key. And I got one more thing left to do before the games begin. Well, how convenient. He. Uh, couch delivery for Mr. Steve Dangle. I am he. You wanna help me with this couch? Awesome. Okay, just right this way. Well guys, looks like I'm all prepared to take in the 2010 Olympic Games. Got my national pride, check. Spirit, check. Wicked sweet couch, check. But the women actually participating in these Olympics, looking for their third straight gold. Oh yes, they're looking for their third straight gold. They might have a slightly different preparation. Because after all, they're getting battle ready. They're getting ready for war. And how do they prepare for such a war? Soccer. I often play a little bit of soccer and stuff before. Um, stretch out a bit. Um, mentally, it's just uh, it's a fine line of staying loose and staying focused. And um, you know, I I like to be able to joke around and, and laugh. We like to make a lot of bets. I think that kind of keeps us entertained. We play volleyball, and um, you know, some people are more competitive than others. Some people have more skill than others. It gets pretty heated. Maybe it's good to keep it kind of loosey goosey. Keep the mood light before you go on the ice. You go out for a warm up and you get a sense of the building and the rink and the atmosphere and um, from the time the on ice warm up ends um, you're in the dressing room and you're really just kind of zoning in and trying to make sure your arousal levels are kind of in the right place. Everyone else is kind of walking around the locker room doing their thing and you just kind of have a moment where you're like wow this is real. You know you, you put the jersey on and you walk through the tunnel and you, you see all the flags and you hear people cheer and it's pretty quick it, it comes into you that of spirit and then you know the anthem plays and um, it just you realize where you're there why you're there you know and, and what you're there to do I guess well guys there you have it spoken from the actual Olympians themselves and who are we to question their methods I mean it's worked two straight times who's to say it won't work a third you now if you'll excuse me I'm gonna leave behind this couch for a little bit because tickets oh two tickets eh? who are you bringing uh, my bro it, it, not you Sure.